Napaka easy lang. Next, we have the multiplication. Actually, mas easy ang multiplication at division. Especially if you memorize the multiplication table. Nung grade 5 ako, no? Hindi ako makakalabas kung hindi ako makakarecite ng multiplication table of 1, 2 to 10. So, dapat ganyan. If hindi, hindi nyo pa memorize nyan, again, I love to learn math. I love to memorize the multiplication table because I want it. I want to. Ganyan. Motivate yourself, motivate yourself. Pero basic lang, okay? Guys, in multiplying, like signs, positive. If you multiply like signs, positive. If unlike signs, negative. Ganyan lang. Yan lang ang i-remember nyo at ang multiplication table. Okay? Example, 2 times 3, basic. We are multiplying the same positive. So, 2 times 3 is 6. So, positive and a positive, positive 6. Ganyan. Example number 2. 10 times 3. Hindi ako makakalabas nung grade 5 ako kung hindi ito ma-answer. So, 10 times 1 equals 10. 10 times 2 equals 20. 10 times 3 equals 30. Ganyan. We are multiplying the same sign. Okay? Ganyan lang. And if we are multiplying different signs, it's negative. Yan lang ang rule. So, let's have 2 times negative 3. So, multiply the numbers. 2 times 3, 6. And since we have a positive and a negative, so negative yan. Okay? Basic. Dalawa lang ang rules. The same sign, positive. Different signs, negative. Ganyan lang. At ang multiplication table. Yun lang talaga ang dapat yung may memorize Necessary skill. Okay? Example, we have 20 times negative 2. Okay, now we are multiplying different. So, 20 times 2, 40. Tapos, since different signs, negative 40. Ganyan lang. I love to learn math. I love to learn math. I love to learn math. Okay, at home, negative 20 times, pwede din ganitong pagkasulat, no? Times negative 2. Okay. Tingnan nyo, guys. 20 times 2, 40. And, we are multiplying the same sign. Ano nga ang the same sign? Negative and negative, kaya positive 40 ang answer. Ganyan lang. Again, example at home. Negative 5 times negative 4. Sige daw. Try. 5 times 4, 20. Negative and a negative, positive. Ganyan na ganyan lang. Very basic. Okay? In division, the same rules. If we divide like signs, it's positive. If we divide unlike signs, it's negative. Same lang sa multiplication. At ang necessary skill na dapat nandyan sa'yo, sa mind at heart mo, the same. A multiplication table. Very basic. Diba? Okay. Here, example number 1. 12 divided by 3. Okay. So, 12 divided by 3, it's 4. So, we are, ano nga yun? Dividing both positive. So, positive 4 ang answer. Ganyan lang ka basic. ba? 20 divided by 5. Pila? 4. ba? Ganyan lang ka basic. Now, if we have this negative number divided by a positive, divide the numbers. Wag niyo muna pakialaman ang mga negative o positive kung hindi niyo pa gets, no? So, 12 divided by 3, 4. And since we are dividing a negative and a positive, it's negative. Ganyan. Negative 20, example, divided by 2. So, numbers muna. 20 divided by 2, diba? 10. Tapos, anong sign? We are dividing different signs. So, negative 10. Ganyan na ganyan na ganyan lang. Very basic. Example number 3. Negative 10 
divided by negative 2. So, again, ano nga ang unahin natin? Ang mga numbers lang muna. Guys, kung medyo feel nyo ang taas na ng expression na to, may mga negative numbers lang. 10 divided by 2. 5. Now, are we dividing the same signs? 10, negative. 2, negative. Yes, we are dividing the same sign. So, ano nga yun? It's positive 5 or just 5. Ganyan lang po ka-basic ang multiplication at division. Again, if we multiply or divide the same sign, positive. If we multiply or divide different signs, negative. Ganyan na ganyan lang. Okay? Dapat may mastery kayo sa multiplication table para kung multiplication man or division, makuha nyo agad. But I will have another discussion for that. Okay? So, next, we will have the exponent. Ano nga ibig sabihin ng exponent, guys? Just to review, an exponent refers to the number of times a number is multiplied by itself. Refer refers to the number of times a number is multiplied by itself. So, example, this one. 2 squared. So, meaning, si base natin ay 2. Ay exponent ay 2. Meaning, i-multiply natin si base ng dalawang beses. 2 times 2 equals 4. Ganyan lang. Okay, example number 2. Negative 3 squared. So, meaning, ano nga ibig sabihin yan? I-multiply natin si base sa itself sa kanyang sarili ng dalawang beses, which is negative 3 times negative 3, which is, we're multiplying now again, the same sign. So, it's positive 9. Ganyan na ganyan na ganyan lang. Now, try number 3. What's the base? 5. What's the exponent? 3. Meaning, we will multiply 5 3 times. So, 5 times 5 times 5, which is 125. Ganyan lang ang exponent. I know you know this. Diba? Basic lang to. Basic. So, at home, try this. Negative 4 raised to 5. Diba? So, ano nga pagkasulat nito? I-multiply natin si negative 4 kalima. Diba? And you have your calculators to answer this at home. And I'm... Okay? That's just it. Ganyan lang ka-basic. Okay? Now, let's have grouping symbols. Okay, guys. This is the last review. The last topics, I mean. The last topic of our review. Grouping symbols. Okay? So, malapit na tayo sa, kakato sa katotohanan, no, everybody? So, we have three grouping symbols. So, three common types of grouping symbols are the parentheses. Okay, so ito po ang sign, ito po ang parenthesis, brackets, at saka braces. Okay, these are used to group numbers or variable. Okay, just to review, like this. Operations inside parenthesis can be done before on any other operations. Okay, so dapat parenthesis muna daw before any other. Yung multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. Pero I will give you example. No. Example, ganito. Simplify. 4 times 2 plus 5. Okay. So, again. Ano daw ang sabi? Unahin daw muna ang nasa parenthesis. 2 plus 5, 7. So, what happens? It's just 28. Ganyan na ganyan lang. Very basic. Example number 2. There, we have 2... Parenthesis. So, 1 plus 5, 6. Times, oh, here, diba? Negative 3 plus 4. We're adding different signs. So, ano ang gagawin? Subtract lang. 4 minus 3, 1. And what's the sign na ilalagay? Negative or positive? B, sino mas malaki? C3 or C4? Ah, C4. At C4, may positive. Positive yan C4. So, 1. 6 times 1. 6. That's just it. Very basic. Again, I love to learn math. I love to learn math. I love to learn math. Okay? Now, 
Let's solve this. How do we solve this? Oh, di ba? 